Right, so this is suspect number one. So I'm going to start with the face shape. Not round, and it's not oval, and it's not square. Is it triangle? It's not a triangle. <laughs> Maybe it's heart shaped. And then the hair I would describe as absolutely classic, sort of short back and sides. He's wearing glasses. What shape glasses? Well, he's gone for round, and I would say sort of um, thin wire framed. When we do these things, are they the naughty celebrities, or are they just... Oh, no, this isn't like Savile Glitter Harris. <laughs> Hell of a law firm, by the yeah. way. <laughs> oh, he's smiling and he's showing his teeth. He's got lovely white teeth. Eyebrows. Eyebrows. Really crucial. What are they doing? Do you doing? know what? Barely anything. Imagine living like that. Yeah. <laughs> Can I ask what his general vibe is? That's a lovely question. Thank Lee. you. Because I draw from sort of an energy point of view. Energy wise? Yeah, so if you could give me his vibe, I think it's going to come across. Okay. In the piece. Okay. In the piece. I've reached my limit of the word vibe, actually. <laughs> <laughs> energy wise, it does feel quite warm. It's the sort of warm glow of someone who's done all right for himself. Okay. I, I think I know who it is. Okay. Toussaint, let's see what you've drawn. <laughs> Is that, is Doesn't that, that feel like a, a before shot for an orthodontist? <laughs> <laughs> um, Luke, do you want to spin it around? Let's have a little look. Same, but bigger. OK, <laughs> interesting. The chaos in his eyes is absolutely amazing. Yeah. Richard, can I have a look at yours? Bigger, still. Oh, that's really good. Thank you. OK, yeah. Richard, I, I think yours looks most like the celebrity... That's right. ..that I'm describing. So, take a look at Richard's picture. Who is that? Right on your easels, and if you've got it right, you'll get a point. <laughs> Interesting. OK, OK. So, Toussaint, you've gone for Craig Charles. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's the only name that came to me. Not the yeah. I don't remember him looking like that, but he might have had a tough year. <laughs> and you've gone for Woody Allen. <laughs> I'm not saying anything else about that. <laughs> um, and you've gone for Simon Mayo. <laughs> Is he a DJ? Is he a DJ? He's the DJ. <laughs> I can tell you that the celebrity I was describing was Bill Gates. Oh. oh. Pretty good, though, right? Yeah. yeah. Right, that's, that's very good. That's Shame you don't get good. points for that. Sorry. So I, I don't get points for doing a drawing along the photo fit. No, no, you only get it if you guess the celebrity. So the drawing, I should just phone it. <laughs> No, no, if you do the drawing well, it might be the thing that get, lets you get the celebrity. Yeah, whatever, it's not encouraging. <laughs> <laughs> OK, suspect number two. So I'm going to describe the face shape of this okay. woman. It is like a beautiful testicle shape. <laughs> if it's a testicle, does it have, you know... No, no, they're not covered in pubes. I didn't see that. <laughs> That's what you're asking. OK, and they're not veiny. It's the testes, not the scrot. So the hair is a centre parting. Yes. And it's very long, and I would say almost their sort of main feature. OK. And it's really almost like mermaid-like. Oh, so cheeks as well. Very full and buoyant, as if they were the cheeks of a much younger person. <laughs> full, lovely lips. You just want to go... Mm, mm. K kissable like, lips. Kissable lips. And then eyes, tw really lovely twinkly eyes. And then eyebrows, we've got some eyebrows, guys. Very exciting for you. Um, strong, but not scouse brow strong. Toussaint, are you ready? Yeah. Let's spin around that easel and have a look. Yeah, so when I said oval, what you've done there is you've gone for basketball-shaped face. <laughs> um, Lou, can we have a little look at what you've drawn? Yes. I spy some points. Oh, I like this. She hasn't got a sewn-up mouth, <laughs> but I do like it as a choice. There we go. <laughs> that looks great. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Richard, can we have a look at yours? Yeah, when you said kissable mouth, I, uh <laughs> you, you didn't specify the teeth. Um, oh, this is quite hard. Yes. I think, actually, Luz looks most like the celebrity. Well, they don't look like people, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, who do you think is the suspect? What celebrity? If you write it on your boards... No point for the drawing, as I've learned to my cost. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. So, Toussaint, who do you think it is? Cher. Cher, OK. Lou? Well, I've put Cher and then I've put Cheryl Taylor. Um, Cheryl Taylor? Who's Cheryl Cher. Taylor? <laughs> Cheryl Cole? Yeah. <laughs> Lou, come on, which one are you going to pick? Going with Cher. OK, great, Cher. Richard, who have you picked? Cher. 
OK, so the answer is... It's Cher. <laughs> for your last celebrity suspect. Yes. We'll pretend we are. Perfect. <laughs> OK, this is a rectangular face, but not a very long rectangle. Oh, shoot. Male sort of chiselled look, I guess. And the hair is sort of up and looks like fingers have just been run through it. OK. Yeah, you should know there's as much neck as there is head. I'm, I'm not sure on the mouth. What were you saying for the mouth? Oh, yeah, the mouth. Actually, he's got, like, a Cupid's bow on the top lip. And his mouth is ajar, so you can see a couple of teeth. Well, you want to see Richard's, it's an atrocity. <laughs> I think I know who it is, but I can't remember his name. Oh, that's <laughs> like not knowing who it is. Yeah. <laughs> not like it, yeah. I'm hungry to exhibit. <laughs> OK, great. <laughs> Toussaint, let's have a little look. <laughs> wow. I've mean, not sewn him up. I was getting the square rectangle thing a bit, yeah. then you elongated it. I was like, OK, it's it. Someone's given that square crisp a Chelsea smile. <laughs> Lou, let's have a little look at yours. Oh, yeah, OK. I, the sh do you know what? The shape of the face and the hair and the neck is good. It's the gills that have... No, it's because I did a mistake. You have to ignore that bit. OK, if I ignore that bit, it's really good. Thank yeah, you. it's really good. Richard, can I have a look at yours? Yes. So this is bang on. That's a neck. Mouth as described. Cupid bow. Couple of teeth. Big bottom lip. I think it's loose with the gills hidden. <laughs> so if you turn your easels around and write down who you think is the suspect. Okay, Tucson. Who do you think the suspect is? Uh, Elon Musk. Okay. Uh, and Lou. Bieber. Justin. Justin Bieber. Interesting. All right. And Richard? I don't know if it's two L's and grills. Grills, yeah. No, I think that's spelt right. No, thank you. Let's find out. The answer is... It's Justin Bieber. Oh. Lou's got a point. Well done, Lou. Time for my final question. So this is for two points. Yes. I want to know what links these three celebrities. So write down your answer on your easel. OK, Tucson, what do you think the link is between Bill Gates, Cher and Justin Bieber? People. <laughs> they all came out of woman. A, a, a woman. A woman. At, at some point. OK. <laughs> and you think that's the answer? I panicked. <laughs> all right, then, Lou, what's your answer? What do you think links them all together? Um, they've all been prosecuted. They've all been prosecuted? OK, well, no, they all work for the same charity, then. <laughs> OK, Richard, what do you think they have in common? They're all fascists. Fascists, OK. <laughs> who have, at some stage, used vocoders either privately or professionally. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Well, the correct link is that these three celebrities have all been arrested. That's... that's me! You yes, screwed out, mate! Yeah, mate. <laughs> Who's a fascist? Oh, that's two pounds coming off your feet, Sanders. <laughs> prison and then prosecuted. You it's a true crime round, guys. Kimmy, I put prosecuted and you went... <laughs> Are we not allowed to double bluff in this anymore? Yeah. <laughs> I'd like a point for that, otherwise this is gonna stink of a setup. 